is LinkedIn. It's a professional networking site that you can use to find people you already know, connect with those that you don't yet know, and identify future networking opportunities. It is not just a website that you only use for job hunting, but more an online portfolio and representation of you. So who is it for and should you even be on it? Well, it's for anyone and everyone. It isn't just for business people. You can use LinkedIn as much or as little as you want. Just make sure you have a good up-to-date profile if you are going to use it. There's nothing worse than someone finding on LinkedIn and seeing the five years ago version of you rather than the brilliant current you. So I'm going to go through some basics of a good LinkedIn profile. Have a good professional profile picture. This is the first impression people will get of you, so it better be a good one. Avoid anything like you drinking alcohol or something similarly overly casual. Use the personalization functions, so don't just stick with the generic job title and maximize that top box of your profile. Again, it will be the first thing people see, especially in search results, so use it well. Use as many sections as possible and fill in as much information as you can. Describe your job responsibilities well, but don't write an essay. Use things like bullet points to make everything a bit more readable. And whatever you do, don't forget to fill in your summary section. Be varied and detailed with your experience. Include volunteering and your interests in charitable causes. This gives a well-rounded picture of you and shows that you're more than just your job. Check out other people's profiles for inspiration and guidance. Have a look at what your peers are doing and also use other people's profiles for inspiration of where to go next in your career. Find people who are a bit ahead of you in their career and try to work out how they got there, what experience they have, and if they did any specific training. Don't forget to check your privacy settings to control what you display. You effectively have two profiles, what people see who are connected to you and what everyone else sees when they find you on Google. LinkedIn automatically switches everything to public, but you can alter this in your privacy settings so you can regain some degree of control about what you share with the wider world. Speaking of oversharing, don't forget to switch off your activity alerts so your connections don't hear about every edit you make. Not only is it annoying, but it could also rumble you if you're looking for a new job but don't want your boss to know. Suddenly sprucing up your profile is a bit of a dead giveaway. Regularly update and refresh your profile any time you do a new project or something changes in your work, document it. Not only does this keep your profile really up to date, but it also means that your profile is a really handy resource to come back to when you need to update your CV or just review how the past year has gone. Trust me, you'll be surprised at how much you got done when you look back. LinkedIn is good for reaching out and connecting with people that you know and want to get to know. However, there is a certain degree of etiquette for when you want to connect with someone, especially if you don't really know them that well, if at all. When connecting, edit the automated, I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn stock message to give a more personal touch. Explain why you want to connect with someone. You don't have to connect with everyone if you don't want to, and use shared connections to get an introduction to someone you don't know directly. Use conferences to connect with new people to build your network. LinkedIn has groups, which you can join, so take advantage of these to keep an eye on developments in your field or areas of interest. You can also start your own if you don't find one for your specialist area. LinkedIn has started to use more Facebook-esque functions, so you can publish and share content, like other people's content, and leave comments on topics that you find interesting. Lots of institutions, companies and other bodies are on LinkedIn, so you can always use it for your job hunting too. LinkedIn is great for research as you can find out a lot about a company through its page and also through finding people who work at that company and connecting with them to find out more information. Many educational institutions are on LinkedIn too, so it isn't just the private sector that is covered. So why is this a more method and what has it got to do with research? Well, through having a professional profile on a platform such as LinkedIn, you are boosting the chances of people finding you and collaborating with you on research and future projects. 
Plus, because it's so easy to maintain once you've got yourself set up, you can use it to link people to any work that you've published and other things without having to go through the bother of hosting your own website or something similar. So explore LinkedIn, check out our guide, which we've linked to in the description, and see you next time. Thank you.